here and I am doing the DIY as promised on how to make your own brush cleaner like spot cleaner not deep cleaner there's a difference okay the first thing that you will need is a spray bottle about this big this is six ounces um, all I did this is gonna be a really quick video because it's super easy all I did was take um, baby shampoo and water so that's all you need is spray bottle baby shampoo and water I use Johnson & Johnson I don't really think it matters what kind you use I'm gonna have to go get more though because my brother took it when he moved so that's kind of sad anyway all I did was fill up the baby shampoo to about here where the sticker is it's like half an inch maybe so that much of baby shampoo and then I filled the rest with water and I shook it up and it gets all like that all soapy and everything you probably want to shake it every time you use it so it doesn't like separate okay and then I'm gonna show you that it, how that it works and how it works all I do here I'll use this one I use some different types so first I have this one as you can see it's kind of um, I used it on my bottom right there so it has some eyeshadow on it that's what it's called all I do is I kind of spray it away like towards the floor so I don't get this everywhere I spray it just on the bottom here I'll see if you see that I just got it on myself then all I do is take a t piece of toilet paper, or you can use a cotton ball. I'll kind of show you the differences, pros and cons of both, but really whatever you have. And you just dab it like this, and kind of swirl it however you want, until all of the product is gone. See? All gone. Um, but... This is good if you really did kind of want wet eyeshadow, but if you don't, then I would suggest either letting it out to dry, which could take a while, and if you're doing it in between eyeshadows, then what I would do is use a cotton ball. I'll do this one. Um, this one has been left on for a while, so we'll see how that turns out. So I got the product. No, I didn't get the product on there. Okay. So I got the product on there. And then I'm going to use this cotton ball. And just do the same thing that we did with the other one. Till all the product is off. And there you go, and it's barely wet. I like the cotton ball better almost because like while it kind of can rip apart like that and get on here, it's easy to take off. But what I like about it is it dries your brush out much faster. Like it absorbs the water better. So I'll use this one. I use purple on it so you can barely tell that it's has anything on it because it kind of matches the color. Let's spray it. My mom's been using my spray bottle to spray my cat, so I think that's why it's acting kind of funny. You probably want a spray bottle that has more of a spray nozzle effect rather than a streamline effect. I don't know why mine's doing that. So just kind of swirl it on there. You can use the same cotton ball until it gets too dirty. Nobody's gonna stop ya. And there you go. I'm just kind of rubbing it a little bit more just to make it um, absorb the water and make it dry faster. You want to 
do this until you can't see any more product on your brush or coming off of your brush either one all right I'm just kind of I think the bigger ones will take a little bit longer to dry but it shouldn't be too bad just kind of go like that if you want it to dry faster There you go. Um, if you want to know how to deep clean then your brushes, then keep watching. It's along the same lines. It's really easy. All you do is get a little bit of baby shampoo in your hand and kind of run your hand under the water. And you just take a brush like this. And you just swirl it with the water and the baby shampoo until all of the product is out and like the water will run clean. The water, water runs clean. Sorry, it's a tongue twister for some reason. And then um, what you want to do, you want to make sure to keep the water from here so you don't want to like completely soak it. You um, because if you get water inside this, then the glue can come off and then your brush will break. And that's not good. Nobody wants that to happen. So then just lay it down flat like this to dry. I like to do it on a washcloth. Um, you just lay it to dry. I usually do mine overnight. And they're all dry by morning. So you're supposed to do that like once or twice a week think once a week. Um, I don't do it that often because I'm lazy, but you should do it as often as possible, especially with your face brushes because bacteria can build on these and it can actually make you have more acne, which nobody really wants. So yeah, that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, not really anything that I showed in this video that you can get on Mark, except for brushes. You can get all the brushes you want on my mark store if you can do that and don't forget to check out my facebook contest that ends july 31st so like in 10 days so yeah i will talk to you guys later and i hope you have a great day bye